Welcome to EasyGate's uh, TRB Polytechnic 2021 Easy Solutions. That's going to be the final problem from my side. Uh, problem based on uh, force voltage and force current analogy. Okay, from one marks, TRB Easy Paper, one mark. A simple concept only, but uh, sometimes it leads to a confusion because we remember a uh, force voltage analogy and a force current analogy. Okay, so first remember. Uh, recollect a fundamental of a mechanical translational system. Then it's easy to answer this problem. Have a mechanical translational system. Whose input is F of T, the force in Newtons. Okay, that's your translational system. So sensing the force as the input in Newtons and going to produce the output as a displacement X of T that is in meters. That's what we call as a mechanical translational system. Okay, so what is inside means it's function of a mass, a dash part or a friction and a spring we have. So the detailed view will look like this. We have a mass M that is suspended between two rails or tracks in a casing. So let there's a friction element. That's what we call as a B. That is going to oppose the moment of the mass when it is experiencing a force, okay? pushing force we are pushing the mass inside the casing then to oppose the movement of the mass we have a spring okay that's called as k okay so this mechanical translational system is governed by a simple force balance equation that is f of t is equal to the force due to mass there is an opposing force in electric circuits like a KVL. It's a that's a voltage balance. This is a force balance. So it's Fm of t opposing force due to mass, opposing due to the frictional element, and opposing due to the spring constant Fk of t. We can say. So what does the balance equation means? F of t is equal to mass into acceleration. Okay, due to the application of the force. Okay, so there is going to be a displacement of the mass. When there is a displacement, we have the velocity of the mass. When we have velocity, we have acceleration of the mass. The moment you apply the force, there is an acceleration, there is a velocity, then there is a resultant displacement. So as a function of the three parameters, we get the opposing forces. So mass into acceleration, B into velocity plus K into displacement, that's what we get. Okay, so this gives the basic second order equation of a mass spring damper system as F of T is equal to mass into D square X of T by DT square. That's your acceleration with respect to the displacement. Plus B into the velocity in terms of displacement is rate of displacement DX by DT. Plus K into the displacement X of T. That's the equation governing this mass spring damper mechanical translational system. So what is the problem is about means uh, it is talking about force voltage analogy. So we need to treat the force as a voltage. So similarly, a mass spring damper system, it is a second order and we have another second order going to resemble this mass spring damper that is a simple series RLC circuit. We have a resistor, we have an inductor and then we have a capacitor. So we have three elements in cascade. Like how something is common in all the elements, the X is common, but uh, how it is making the opposing force. This is going to be the opposing force in Newton's. This is also going to be an opposing force. This is also going to be. So these are the individual opposing forces created by the individual elements balancing the applied force. Same way, when we have an electric circuit, when excited this by a voltage V of T between the two terminals, we have a resistor, it is going to oppose this, and we have an inductor going to oppose this, we have a capacitor going to oppose this, and function of, it's a simple series circuit, the current is commonly existing in all the elements. Then if you refer 
the KVL for this, there is a voltage across the resistor VR of T plus minus. There is a voltage across inductor that is VL of T. You can say plus minus. There is a voltage across the capacitor that is plus minus VC of T. Three voltages for the space sake I'm writing in the bottom and the top. Okay. So as for the KVL, we have a voltage balance equation. So what is that? V of T is equal to Okay, so we can say it's VR of T opposing voltage technically, and this is opposing voltage due to inductor. It is opposing voltage due to the capacitor. Okay, so then V of T is equal to, we can say it's R into I of T plus VL is L into L into DI by DT. Okay, plus this is VC is 1 by C integral 0 to T, assuming no initial current in the inductor, no initial charge across the capacitor, then we'll go with this equation into 1 by C into integral of your current I of T into DT. Okay, so this is how we get. And the moment I make a force voltage analogy, so force is analogous to, okay, uh, voltage. That's what we call as force voltage analogy. In this, you're going to treat, you're going to consider force like a voltage. So how the force is sum of multiple uh, some of multiple forces okay due to mass spring and uh, a damper similarly we need to have a voltage we have the voltage function of voltage across resistor inductor and capacitor so this is a second order i need to make this a second order then we can balance and then we'll see what is what okay so then f of t what we have is we have f of voltage v of t is equal to we have r into i of t plus l into di of t by dt plus 1 by c into integral of i of t into dt shortly the integral is only from 0 to t remember and we have on the other hand f of t that is equal to mass into okay so d square x by dt square plus uh, b that's a, a friction mechanical friction dx by dt plus k into the displacement of the mass okay that's what we have i need to match the two okay so that's what exactly the force voltage analogy is all about okay how to match it so i need to have a second order so who is having the derivative this is the one having the derivative so a derivative of if i is a derivative of something it is possible to get second order derivative so let me assume i of t is equal to dq by dt we have another equation current is nothing but rate of charge so then let me replace v of t as r into dq of t by dt plus l into i'll write this as d square q of t by dt square plus 1 by c an integral of your substituting i as dq by dt it is going to become q of t so 1 by c into q of t you will get so then in order v of t can be written as l into d square q of t by dt square plus r into dq by dt plus 1 by c into q of t now tell me what is analogous to what it's your call now it's time you got the fundamentals it's one mark only if you know it you can straight away connect it okay yes what is the connection the force is treated as a voltage then compare this and this now okay compare these two compare these two so this is the second order this is also a second order now you can compare so force is compared with force is treated as a voltage then your mass will be treated as an inductor then your friction will be treated as a resistance. That's true, okay? Resistance is offering a friction in electrical circuit. Yes, and the spring constant will be treated by the capacitor, okay? Inverse of the capacitor will be equivalent to the, yes, that's analogous, okay? So mass in a mechanical system analogous to inductor in the electrical circuit and the friction in the mechanical system analogous to the resistance in the electrical circuit and the spring constant is inverse of your capacitance that's analogy and that means that not only this so force voltage mass is inductor b is your resistor k is your inverse of capacitor where the displacement of the mass is equal to the charge displacement of the mass is equal to the charge in the electric circuit that's what he is talking about yes you can answer in the force voltage analogy which one of the following is 
electrical equivalent of displacement is said electrical equivalent of displacement then it is straight forward okay so the answer is electrical equivalent of the displacement x is not the current it is your charge okay it is your charge whereas if you go for a force current analogy okay so then force will be treated as a current okay so you can put elements in parallel same equation if problem is force current analogy you can put elements in parallel then you can do it okay we'll give that idea as well Yes, similar to the force voltage analogy, we can have a force current analogy. So, what is the small distinction between the two? We'll see. Still, the equation remains same. System mechanical system remains same. F of t still remains. D square x by dt square m into and b into dx by dt shortly plus k into x. Your x means x of t. Okay, remember that. So, we need to treat the force as a current in an electrical circuit. Okay. So, that means, uh, so you need to have a current excited setup means you need to consider a parallel RLC. Consider a parallel RLC where we have a resistor, we have inductor and then capacitor all are in parallel. Okay. So then there is going to be a current IR and there is going to be a current IL and there is going to be a current IC. This is going to balance your KCL. So like the second order force balance in the mass spring damper, it's a current balance. It's also going to be a second order, but instead of a series RLC, you consider parallel RLC. So then we're going to have a current balance. So I of T is equal to the current IR plus the current IL plus the current IC of T. So then I of T is equal to what is I R. So we need to consider the voltage across all the elements. Since all are in parallel, take it as a voltage V of T. Then I can write this as V of T divided by R will be the current. And this current, I L of T inductor current, voltage is known across the inductor. So what is that current? 1 by L integral V of T into DT. Assuming there is no zero uh, voltage at time t equal to zero plus we have ic of t as a function of the voltage what is that c into what is that ic as a function of voltage hope you remember uh, q is equal to c into v therefore differentiation of your q is your current so c into dv of t by dt you will get okay so d by dt of charge so c into v of t is your charge so it is function of voltage now but we wanted to have a second order. Who is having the derivative? Yes, D is having, uh, V is having the derivative. DV by DT is there. If I get V as a function of another derivative, D by DT of something, then I can make this also a second order. So what does that mean? So the voltage, okay, is a induced EMF you can consider. There is a function of the flux. Okay, but usually it is going to come with your, it's a proportional to this only. So they, the number of turns as per the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, number of turns will come into play. So for the analogy's sake, let me take V of T as D phi by DT. That's analogy. I'm going to replace voltage by rate of flux linkage. Okay, so with that, I can modify the entire expression as I of T equal to S. Yes, replace V by D phi by DT. Okay, so if there is a case, it's one by R into d5 by dt. Let me take it in order. If you go by order, let me take the first element where it is double derivative. Let me take this one. Okay. So it's going to be c into d square phi by dt square we will get plus. Then here 1 by r into v of t is d5 by dt. That's a first order derivative plus 1 by l into integral of v is going to be your phi of t. That's all. So now your x is corresponding to whom? Your flux. x is corresponding to the flux. So x tends to the flux. The force tends to current. That's very important. In force current analogy, the force is treated as a current and displacement treated as a displacement treated as a flux. Okay. And your 1 by L, that is K is treated as 1 by L. Then your B is treated as 1 by R and 
m is treated as the capacitor okay so that's your force current analogy okay so since it is talking about force voltage so have a clarity on force current also if it is force current the current okay uh, the force current means the displacement is corresponding to the flux if it is force voltage the displacement is corresponding to the charge okay that's a difference since he is talking about the force voltage so just know about force current also okay so the conclusion is this so force treated as voltage means displacement treated as a charge if the force is treated as a current displacement treated as a flux that's a conclusion okay so problem may be for the mass spring and uh, damper okay that is your friction so analogous to resistor inductor and capacitor like that may happen in some other competitive examination okay so but still you should know the fundamental the point is very simple remember the mass spring damper system that is going to give you a second order force balance equation then remember your rlc series circuit or rlc parallel circuit comfortably play for the force voltage or force current analogy that's what you need to keep in the mind okay so with this let me conclude okay so thanks for watching okay you can uh, uh, subscribe our channel and also any comments you want to pass yes you can okay so thank you thank you very much